Hi, my name is Melissa Whitmer, and in this video, we're going to look at how to construct a Canvas quiz question using the multiple choice option. First, let's look at an example of a quiz where we have that feature. So this is a uh, college algebra type question or contemporary math question involving systems of equations. So here we solve the system of equations by the method of your choice. All work must be shown on your scanned paper for credit. Um, so I'm indicating to students, yes, it's multiple choice, but I am also checking their work to support the solution that they select. So as I built this particular question, I typed in the instructions um, and then I have a screenshot here. So you can do a multiple choice question, maybe if you want to have different um, screenshots that you've taken of graphs and you have answer A graph, answer B graph, C and D, and then they have to select which graph is correct. And this one, I've got a screenshot that I took of these different options for the solution. So I'm gonna um, edit this and bring this over to a sample quiz to show you how to create this from the beginning. So in your quiz, when you create this question, you'll start with a new question and multiple choice is that first option. Edit how many the point value is going to be for that particular question. And so here I would build the question. So I would type my text or I would take a screenshot, save it, upload the image here, however I want to build that particular question. So now that I have it here and I've selected multiple choice, it always defaults to um, the first one is automatically self selected as correct. So what you wanna do is be consistent with your answer choices. So this is formatted A, B, C, D. So I'll show another way to use this where it's not the traditional A, B, C, D. And if you have more answer choices, you could just keep going with this. Um, so the multiple choice is limited to text. So like they, you have to type in text that they select. Now on this particular one, I maybe answer B is correct. So I'd have to like indicate which of these is the correct answer when it's displayed. Um, and then in your blue general comments, you can put in the um, answer key, which you can see here, I did a screenshot and um, of my answer key that I had uploaded and I uploaded the image here. And that way, when I check their work, I can check it against my screenshot uh, for, efficiency, for efficiency when I grade. Okay, so I've got my answer key here. Hit the blue update question. Um, and then I'm gonna drag that question up so that it's not below the footer and save. Okay, so let's preview to see what that looks like to the student. So when you preview that, you will go and go down and see how that appears. You'll see these little bubbles here uh, for A, B, C, or D. So that indicates to the student they're going to select which answer is the correct answer, and then they'll submit that. Now I wanna show you another variation of the um, multiple choice and how I've used it for another type of question. And so I've used it um, to display more text options for students. So in this example, this is a survey that I created. So the questions that students see, they have these bubbles here and I've actually typed in um, text that they read and they select their answer. And so you can use it this way if you don't wanna do a screenshot or if you wanna do a screenshot and have different text options. Um, so when you build a question like this, um, you just have to tell the student to select their answer for the multiple choice. And then in all the boxes, you'll type in that text and then select which one is correct so that the computer grades that correctly and then update that question. So that is how you can use the multiple choice feature for creating a Canvas quiz question. Thank you for watching. And there are other tutorial videos that are posted in the Math Instructional site to help you with creating your Canvas quiz.